Father Spitzer, I was watching a special mm -hmm. about an experiment done in Switzerland in the atomic collider that was trying to prove that there was or was not a quote unquote guard, God particle. Hopefully you are familiar with this yeah. and can explain. Thank you for mm -hmm. all you do. I'll pray for you. Thanks. And this is from Charles. And yeah, we, we heard a lot about that a while ago. I haven't heard as much yeah. recently. What's going on there? Yeah, well, at CERN, you know, in Switzerland, there there was uh, some experiments. Uh, there were also, uh, which actually um, did actually show the existence of what's called the Higgs boson. But let's just back up for a moment and talk about the God particle. You know, for, the Higgs boson is only called the God particle because basically Peter Higgs, as I understand it, who was you know the developer of this incredibly important uh, and great theory, the last sort of part of elementary particle uh, physics. Uh, as I heard uh, the story, he came to his publisher and he, he had so much difficulty locating the particle uh, that he wanted to call it, well, the, uh, the GD particle, you know. Mm. Oh, okay. And the uh, publisher said, well, Peter, you can't can't use the D word oh, yeah. in, in the <laughs> title of your book. Oh, drop it. And it just became the God particle. Oh, okay. Now, uh, just, to <laughs> make, just to make matters uh, you know, clear, uh, the, the, the relevance of the Higgs field, right? Uh, now, a Higgs boson indicates the presence of a Higgs field. And the Higgs field is very important because in the first moments after the Big Bang, right, you have this tremendous release of energy but you need to slow that energy down in order to get what's called rest mass. And that conversion of energy to rest mass at the beginning of the, uh, of the universe is, was the last piece in the particle of elementary particle physics. Now that Higgs field functions almost like molasses or something. Basically, it's, it's, it, the energy as it passes through the Higgs field is being slowed down in, in a way that's creating the phenomenon of rest mass, which which of course gives rise to the particles that we know of, heavy particles, uh, right, that would be like hadrons, neutrons, and protons, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, is it an important part of the unfolding of the universe? Absolutely. Uh, does it replace the creation event? No. Is it prior to the Big Bang? No. Is it a re uh, does it replace God or a creator at the beginning of our universe or the beginning of physical reality? No. So it really is not a God particle. Mm -hmm. It's a complete misnomer. It just had to do with, uh, let's say, an exchange between <laughs> Peter Higgs and his publisher, as I understand it, which wound up uh, you know, becoming the God particle, but uh, is it an important discovery? It's an absolutely important discovery. Okay, I mean, you know, without a Higgs field, we, don't, we can't explain rest mass, and okay. that makes particle theory rather incomplete.